the, like everyone wanted a piece of him, everyone wanted to be like him. And as a kid, I used to see him at Crystal Palace and again, when he literally. On that, do you have a favourite song or motivation song you listen to? Or oh, when you were growing up, who was it who encouraged you to get to sport? Who was you, someone you looked up to? Uh, I just feel amazing. I probably feel like, um, probably like a Power Ranger. So getting ready, but like in their full morphing kit. So, um, so yeah, that's the, probably the feeling I'm going. I'm going to probably feel. So um, a lot of people don't know, but I've been on three game shows, and I've been shot out of a human cannonball before. So I've been, I've been, I've been through the whole work. So um, I think my capability of, of of going through that, and then I'm not saying the games is the same as being um being on a game show, but um it's the same kind of mindscape that there's ca there's cameras and everything in front of you, but you've got a job to do, and you've got to try and win. That was a game show called um, Can't Touch This, where um, literally I got shot out of a human cannonball, and I think that was probably the most scared I've ever been in my life. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, if I could do that, then I think I'd be fine. See, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. You know, you, you, you dream of this, you know, when you're a, a youngster, um, but it always seems out of reach. But, you know, it's just years of hard work and dedication. And, you know, looking at that, you know, you almost seem like, yeah, that's about right. I deserve it for all the work I've done, you know. And but it's, it's you have to take a, a, a double, triple take every single time because, you know, you're actually, you know, um, you know wearing the, 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 the vest. We're going to compete this time, you know. Last time, um, we, you know, we, we were going to compete, sure, but you know, it's all buzzy and sports. All about experience, you know. And we had another four years of experience. You know, we've been on the podium. You know, we, we we've um, been very very close to winning races. You know, we've had speed records, track records, you know, all that sort of stuff. So that all builds the confidence to go forward at the next Olympic Games. And in my head, it's just another race. Last time, you. You know, it was all the, the, the lights, the cameras, the actions, the rings, you know, now it's a four heat race. That's what we're going out, just to compete in that four heat race. Um, yeah, I've been on it. I was on it last year. Um, but the thing I like about Olympic tracks as a whole is uh, it, it's more neutral. So we go on the German tracks, the Germans usually dominate. We go on the, the Swiss track, likewise, do you know what I mean? It's This is more of a neutral track, you know, no one quite dialed in you know the most anyone's had on the had runs on the on the track is maybe 30 runs down the track <laughs> Okay. It's a lot. I think I was very young and naive when I went to such here. Just everything sort of happened, and I was just happy to be there. I think now, being probably one of the more senior members of the team, it's a little bit different. You know, my role, my play, the role I play with, within the team is a little bit different. Um, but still, very excited, very just really proud of all my guys and all the team that sort of got here and such great results this year. Just feeling really confident. And for me, sort of as an, as an athlete, I, I don't care where the medal comes from, as long as we go out and get at least one of them, which I know that we can and we deserve. I think we, we always go in there with a chance of meddling, and it's only it's only heightened when it's in a country where people are more unfamiliar. Um, because for us, we don't have a track at home, so, so, so when people are unsettled is when we do our best because we're always in that environment, we're always sort of away from home, we're always, we never have the home advantage, so I'm always happy when it's somewhere no one really knows and that's when you really see a shine and for what he had and it was so sudden, you know, it was a real shock and, you know, we really want to make him proud as well and he's put, invested so much of effort and time and love into the sport. And I just hope to do him proud also. For the time being, um, I've got eyes very firmly focused on this Olympics uh, and, and doing my team proud uh, and our country proud. And I'm sure we'll end up with a medal, but when, we'll see. Yeah.